DJ Pro has so many great amazing features. The only problem is some of them could be hard to find. So in this video, I'm showing you every single hidden drop down menu in the DJ Pro app. And the first one is going to be here in classic mode. So in classic mode, the first hidden drop down menu is going to be right here by the BPM. If you press that, we get a BPM menu. We could change the tempo. We could, we could actually tap in the BPM if it didn't get it right. Or if we go to tempo and you could change the range or you can invert the crossfader invert the tempo fader so that is how you're going to adjust all your bpm settings in in this bpm drop down menu now next is going to be in the middle so if we press this that's not a drop down menu but if we press if we're in here in our mixer section it may look like this but if you press this eq button down here it switches to have the volume and the eqs and then this hidden drop down menu, we could press it and we can switch to a Nero mix equalizer instead of the bass, mids, and highs. You can get the drums, harmonics, and vocals, which is really cool. We can also press this one over here and we can get to our sampler and looper. And then this drop down menu is going to be how we're going to change our sample packs or looper packs. That one's pretty obvious, but one that you might have not known about is down here in record. We could actually change the beat intervals and change the quantize of the beat. So that's with the record. It kind of is unclear what it does because that this doesn't really have much to do with record. And then you could also do a metrodome. That's not a menu, but I just wanted to show you. And then now, now these next ones, it's going to be the same. The bottom of the screen is the same in pro and classic, but I'm just going to stay in classic because because the view is a little bit bigger. So here in Neuro Mix, we can press this drop down menu and we can change, oh, we can really customize our Neuro Mix experience. So we can go from, we can go from two bands all the way up to four bands. I recommend keeping it on three. And then you could also switch it from instrumental to acapella to percussal and tonal tonal it depends on your style of djing so that's in neuro mix next is going to be next is going to be this one this is our q section so it's going to start like this you could set your q points this drop down menu here pay attention because this is going to change um when we move this way so first you could change the quantize i never change this but if you want to you can do it with this drop down menu so that's how you do that there. And then if we go to pitch queue, look over here to the right at pitch queue, we get a new drop down menu. This makes it so we could change which cue points we want to use for our pitch queue, which is really cool. And then over here, quantize is still the same. This is the one that is the most tricky. So you're probably going to start in slice. So this is what slice does. You can slice up the song it's good for scratching and juggling and stuff so with this drop down menu over here you could change the repeat length you could go all the way down all the way up you could quantize it again you could adjust the beats a lot of these drop down menus adjust the quantize and the beats but then over here so it just if we're in queue or we're in pitch queue there is no drop down menu you would have no idea it was there and a lot of people don't use slice so you'd have to press slice drop down menu and now we could get to skip. So this is how you set your auto mix start and stop points. It's really cool. You could choose where the song is going to mix in and mix out with your auto mixes. So you can do like pre-made mixes. It's really cool and definitely recommend when you're when you're organizing your tracks to add these. But another thing that you can do, this is a brand new feature. This is one of the biggest features of the new 5.0 update. If we go here again, we could get to the to the beat grid editor. So people have been asking about this. You could customize the beat grid. Now we're going to go over to our loops. So we have auto that stays with the quantize. We have saved that stays with the quantize up here. We have bounce. This one is really cool. So this is going to bounce the track. You make stutter effects. It's good for buildups and stuff like that. But what's really cool is if you go to this drop, once you're in bounce, if you go to this drop down menu over here, you can change it so that it bounces only the vocals, only the acapellas. Uh, you can use Neuromix while you're bouncing. So now listen.
So bounce is selected, and then we press this button here, and you can do it like that. And then there's another drop down menu. So we have auto save. And again, there looks like there's no drop down menu in bounce until we click it. Now we click it and we can get the pad. So this adds a high pass, low pass. It's a different way to do bounce. A lot of controllers have these touch pads and a lot of people like to be able to control it that way. And I think it's really cool. So you can control the pad. Next, let's go to our effects. You guys probably already know that you could change the effects with this drop down menu, whichever effect you want to change press the drop down menu. And now we have all our effects. We can choose them. I made so many videos about this, but the hidden drop down menu is at the bottom. And now again, we could use, we could use neural mix only. So you could have, if let's say you're doing a reverb or an echo, you could have it just be the vocals. You could have it just be the drums and it's really cool. So that's in your effects. I'm just going to go to pro mode to show you guys the waveform drop down menus. You can access it in classic mode, but it's just bigger in pro mode. And now you may notice that I have no jog wheels, just these big, beautiful waveforms. So in order to change that, you go to these really hard to see drop down menu one and two, drop it down. And then here jog wheel, we could turn the jog wheels off, turn it off. We, this is where we could control our slice and skip high contrast, low contrast, and we have some control of our waveforms here, but that's not the only drop down menu on your waveforms. So that was on the two, but if we press the this edit button, it doesn't have the symbol for a drop down menu, but it does the same thing. So I'm including it. And then now we could get to our beat grid editor. This is another way to get to that beat grid editor that I showed you down here. In the looper down here, we could change the BPM with this drop down menu. Again, uh, the record I was showing you, that's the same. You could four beat, eight beats quantize. And then here's how we change our loop tracks and edit them. And then same thing in the, in the looper. One deck mode, there is a cool one over here. And that is where it says loops. It'll probably say cue points for you. So you could adjust your cue points. One deck mode is so that you are able to, one deck mode is for preparing your tracks. So you could prepare the cue points but you could also prepare the loops, save loops, and you could also edit the beat grid with this drop down menu here. Next is going to be in video mode, my favorite part of this app. Now we have this drop down is going to be able to change our visualizers, whichever visualizer you want. You could change it with this drop down menu. Over here, we could change the overlay image, we could change the text image, and then we can change the transitions. So this app makes you able to DJ with music videos, which is really cool. So check out this video over here where I show you how to DJ with music videos. Thank you.